there, it's Amelia bringing you another Microsoft Word video. In this video, I'll explain the difference between grid lines and borders in a table. Let's get started. Grid lines are little dotted lines, like you see here, that show the cell boundaries of a table in areas where no borders have been applied. Unlike borders, grid lines appear only on the screen. They don't print or appear in print preview or in web layout view. In some cases, grid lines are hidden, as in this example. You can easily turn the grid lines on. All you have to do is first click anywhere in your table, and in Table Tools in the ribbon, click Layout, and then click on the left view grid lines and then your grid lines would be visible. Now table borders are different from grid lines because they display on your screen when using print preview as well as web layout view and they print out as well. Borders can also enhance your table and make it easier to read the information in a table especially if it's printed. Here's how to add borders to an existing table. First, select the table. To select the table, if you click inside the table, you will see a little square on the upper left with a little uh, four-headed arrow, and you want to click once on that square, and that will darken and select your table. Once your table is selected, from the Home tab on the ribbon, click on the drop-down menu here in the Paragraph Grouping, click on the drop down for borders and select your style for borders and I tend to like all borders and you could see here an example of what it will look like if I activated the all borders so let me go ahead and select that and this is actually a table based on a template so it has defaulted to the uh, orange color that you see here and let's say for example that you wanted to change the color of the border what you would do is let's go ahead and select our table again and go ahead into borders and I'm going to go into borders and shading and on the borders tab as you could see in my example this orange color is the current default color and I want to change that to sort of like a dark gray color so change that and click OK and presto my border color is changed now one more thing uh, I tend to like a thinner border so if you want to change the thickness of the border um, you can change that as well I'm going to go back to my borders and shading and instead of a width of one and a half you can just downsize that and I'm going to change mine to a half of a point and click OK and there we go so that explains the difference between grid lines and how to turn on your grid lines and how to add borders to your table well that's it for today's video if you found this video helpful please leave a comment below if you like this video please click like if you like my channel, please click subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.